do pray that you show me mercy and that you give me a second chance. And it looks like Centoya Brown will get it. Finally, after being in prison for 15 years, soon she'll be a free woman. On Monday, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam granted her clemency. Today, uh, we're just up here to brag. <laughs> we're up here to say thank you to everybody here and everybody across around the world who has been involved in uh, pleading for, praying for the release of Centoya Brown. She believed that this was going to happen. She never lost faith and she really was just resilient about getting out and getting the work. In 2004, Centoya was just 16 years old when she was handed a life sentence for the murder of 43-year-old John Allen. According to court documents, she killed the real estate agent after she said he solicited her for sex. Her lawyers argued Centoya acted in self-defense, saying she had been forced into prostitution and feared for her life. I can't go back, and the only option I have is to go for completely different. Centoya's case was launched into the national spotlight after PBS aired the 2011 documentary, Me Facing Life, Centoya's Story. It snagged the attention of the NAACP, and celebrities like Meek Mill and Kim Kardashian. Bishop Joseph Walker is the senior pastor at Mount Zion Baptist Church in Nashville. Whenever there is no alignment, there is always chaos. He began advising Centoya through Take One, a state program that mentors prisoners while they're incarcerated and after they're released. Bishop Walker says Centoya was already resilient and his words only reinforced what she appeared to already know. I told her to remain hopeful that her story would impact so many people and to know that God would honor that because her life was so selfless. We prayed and uh, we looked at each other and she said to me with so much confidence, I'll see you soon. And I said, the next time you see me, I'm walking you out of here. And so August 7th, I'm making good on that. As soon as she is released, the bishop says Centoya is ready to get to work. She will be on parole for the next 10 years. But life on the other side is looking up for the 30-year-old. She's got a fiancé, and the bishop knows he'll have some stiff competition trying to lure Centoya to work for him instead of a law firm. But first, there's one thing. Oh, she wants a fish fry, that's number one. <laughs> bishop Walker says her goal is to work with other women and girls in similar situations, committing her life to helping others. She just wants to get to work. Centoya is not going to just sit around and just go party. That's not who she is. She's going to actually uh, get out, have that one fish fry she wants, connect with family and friends. She is going to get married, go on a honeymoon, and she is going to get right back. And you're going to see this girl working all day on behalf of others. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.